The genome is a long winding string of A's, T's, G's, and C's, bases that form DNA. We know the secret to understanding autism lies somewhere in here because of twin studies. If one identical twin has autism, the other twin has about an 80% chance of also having the condition. That makes autism one of the most genetic conditions of the brain. The environment may also play a role in autism, but research evidence clearly indicates that genetics is the larger contributor. The human genome is about 3 billion letters long. Only about 2% of this codes for proteins. Most genetic studies in autism have focused on this 2%, called the exome. Mutations, or changes to the genetic code, can affect a single DNA base or a long stretch of DNA. When they delete or duplicate a long segment of DNA, they're called copy number variants. Most mutations are harmless. Everyone has thousands of harmless mutations. When a mutation is harmful, it changes the structure of the protein and can interfere with the normal course of brain development. Some mutations are inherited from parents. These mutations are harmless most of the time, but a few of them may work together to cause autism. Occasionally, mutations are spontaneous, or de novo. That means they are not inherited and occur in the parent's egg or sperm or after fertilization. These mutations are often harmful. The easiest way to find them is to compare the DNA of someone who has autism with the DNA of that person's unaffected parents and siblings. Looking mostly for de novo mutations in genes, researchers have so far found 65 genes that seem to be important in autism. There is a longer list with about 170 more genes that have weaker ties to the condition. Some of the top candidate genes help neurons send signals in the brain. Others help to keep DNA neatly packaged inside the cell's nucleus. As the cost of DNA sequencing keeps dropping, some researchers are sequencing whole genomes, including the long stretches that don't code for proteins. It looks like these regions, which scientists mistakenly used to call junk DNA, may also turn out to be important in autism.